When someone becomes a Christian, a genuine Christian, one of the first things that they'll usually come to understand is that they're still not perfect. There is still sin and they struggle with sin. But that struggle with sin is really a wonderful indicator that you've become a Christian. Prior to being a Christian, uh, you probably weren't struggling that much with sin because you walked arm in arm with sin. But then when you become a Christian, you realize that you have a changed relationship and now there's something of a warfare going on both inside and outside of you. Now, what should you do? Well, the answer that I would give is, is not going to be really the answer everyone wants to hear. They just want to hear a quick fix solution. But the answer is this. You must grow in Christ. You must grow in grace. And how do you do that? You need to set aside every day time to study God's word and then to draw upon God's strength and help in prayer. What I tell new Christians to do is this. Begin in the book of Matthew and read through the entire New Testament. Two chapters, three chapters, four chapters, whatever you're capable of doing each day, read through the entire New Testament. And then after you've done that a couple of times, start in the book of Genesis and read through the entire scriptures and then do that for the rest of your life. The key to growing is to renew our mind in the word of God, to cultivate the mind of Christ and then prayer. Prayer is an absolute essential. God says in the book of James, you have not because you ask not. You need help. You ask him. You need power to overcome sin. Then you draw near to God in prayer and call upon him in the name of Christ and he will help you. But never forget, it'll always be a struggle until we step over into glory.